Welcome, 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 man, to another edition of man, of Cognac Films. So, uh, I got my my favorite group, man, favorite group in the city right now, man. Snapping, man. Man, Vietnam, man. And I just, uh, I had to get them down here, man, because, you know, the world always going around and you got to catch the hottest ones while they hot. So, uh, please, please, please introduce who y'all are and let the people know who y'all be. Till I help. What happened to your dog? Honest Hippie. Honest Hippie from Vietnam, you already know. Hell yeah, hell yeah, see? That's what I like about this music shit. Everybody got their own vibe. So, uh, as a group, man, what got you fellas in the rap? Uh, to be real? Uh, I don't know. It started 2011. Uh, summer 2011. Shit, for real. It was like the year after me and this nigga met in school. We was on some shit that whole summer, kicking up dust and shit. And niggas fucked around and just really started fucking with this shit. Like we uh, was like listening to music, a bunch of niggas we liked. And fucked around and this nigga and me was like, fuck it, we gonna come up with some paper to get some equipment and shit. You know? You're like a mic. Shit, I had invested in a uh, laptop. This shit was like $80. Put uh, FL up on there. And shit, we just got this shit rolling just from there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so if y'all had a, a, you know, a way to describe y'all music so that people would know what they would be getting themselves into when they go to listen to you fellas, uh, you think you can give me any type of examples on that? I say what is it when I hear it it's more like everyday type of what is you know lifestyle music that we make you know and I know what is you know fictional type of bullshit you know talking about what is it shit that we ain't got or the shit that we didn't what is it you know did and shit like that you know there's a lot of niggas nowadays they be over what is it saturating their music that type of shit you know but us we trying to make some genuine music you know, something you can fuck with, vibe with. Just, you know, party to that shit. You bring that vibe out, you know, like that real hip hop shit back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real, real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Real raw visuals. Mm -hmm. That real motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Boom bap. That real, you know what I'm saying? But mix all this shit. We bringing a whole nother yep. lane to this shit. Lane like, to this shit. It don't, it's nothing around Detroit that sound like this shit right now. And that's mm -hmm. pretty much what we bringing. Straight originality to this shit. Less inspiration, you're a little bit of inspiration, but 90% of originality for sure. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so as a group in total, I know y'all said that y'all y'all linked up and put the whole plan in motion. How many years has it been that y'all been a group? Mm. Y'all know that calculation? Mm. We only had to say probably like. What, nine years now? I need an answer from both of y'all. It's for sure probably nine or ten plus. It's yeah. for sure. You know. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's been a minute. Niggas been doing been this minute. shit for a minute. Uh, yeah. What's that on y'all shirts right there? What's this? That's that DNA. That, that logo. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, Look okay. okay. T-shirts and hoodies. They're yeah. available. You know what I'm saying? Some fucks with us. With you right. know? Uh, hoodies 45. T-shirts 25. We got the whole yeah. nine. Pan five panel hats. The whole nine. Ass, whatever you need, come shop with us, hit the DM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much what we represent. Like, it's pretty much, you know, the logo represent whether you in this, uh, you can make it a feel, no matter where you at, you know what I'm saying? But here in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? From the time that you walk out your house to the time that you, you know what I'm saying, go to wherever the fuck you going, you know, and it's unguaranteed that you're going to make it back, for sure. Because it's a war zone. You know what I'm saying? All of this shit is a war zone. So it's like you was just as much of a soldier as anybody else. You know what I'm saying? As a person out in Iraq, the only shit that's different out there and here is that that shit out there is predictable and this shit here is unpredictable. So we all soldiers, you know what I'm saying? When you think about it, that's everywhere, though. So that's what this shit represents. You know, it's the war zone. You feel me? We rise in front of ashes with this shit. It's a mindset. Now, I don't listen to a few of y'all tracks, man. 
and I don't find a really dope vibe up in there. And it's a it's a it's a style that you don't really hear from many artists or groups necessarily or duos or anybody in the sense. So uh, when did y'all realize y'all have y'all had kind of got that style and y'all felt like could nobody duplicate that because y'all wasn't replicating shit but what was original? So when did y'all figure out that shit was was the way and that was the way y'all wanted to take it in this music type? For me personally, I'm gonna have to say like. When niggas was just up on YouTube, just searching for what is, you know, different type of beats and shit like that. It didn't matter what it sound like, you know what I mean? As long as it was good. You know? Yeah. Funky. For sure. If the show had to be the sound, like them beats to talk to you, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You really, we going off of that vibe and that momentum. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's, we damn near waking up every day like, damn, how we feel. And we damn near fine and we going through a hundred beats until we get that vibe that we really feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we find that one. Shit. Every for every one of them ones, you know what I'm saying? That's however many songs yeah. today. You know? It's gonna change on how what is it, you know, we really feeling and shit like that. Give really? us a good ass beat, we gonna give you a good ass song. Just like that. It's simple. Okay, okay. Um, I got, I got like, like a, like a individual question. I want individual answers, man. Uh, if you had to sacrifice one skill, till man. If you had to sacrifice one skill that you knew you knew how to do, what would it be? One skill. It can be anything. It don't have to pertain to music. Any of them things that you find yourself smoking a lot of weed. <laughs> Say if you had to sacrifice, you had to sacrifice smoking some bud. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Hippie man, what you thinking, man? Uh, shit. My... <laughs> Damn, my persuasiveness. Mm. I guess persuasiveness in certain situations. I persuade a lot of motherfuckers like I can see, you know. They call that the gift of gab. Yeah, the gift of gab, for real. It's like, you damn near. That mouthpiece. That mouthpiece would be real, you know what I'm saying? Very, 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 but, you know, but that's only because the, the the word that come behind it, though, with me. It's like, shit, you got to stand on your ten with your word, so. You you down there persuade a motherfucker do anything you want to, especially if you stand on your ten with that shit. For real. Yep, yep, yeah, see. I can't say that that's gonna always be a good situation for everybody in. You know what I'm saying? You could probably try to persuade a motherfucker to do something good, but it might not work out for them in their best interest. So. Wow, mind blown. He just yeah. made the gift of gab break down into a set of words. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, what's y'all opinion, you know, since y'all been, been doing this, you know, to yourselves for so long? What's y'all opinion on the new music that come out? You know, some of these young guys is, you know, creating stuff that you probably would never listen to when you was younger. Or maybe you would. Who knows? What, what's your opinion on the stuff that's online? Like, shit, they in their own lane. They doing what they doing. It's making them money so they can feed their family. That's all that really matter at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So, niggas, so they can get their niggas out of the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. They got to do it. Ain't never no hating shit, for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, it's no, all man. love, it's all love man. Peace, love, and love. Peace, love, and, and good vibes, bro. Yeah. Like, shit, we don't hate this shit. We wait our time with everything, bro. So, they just know, you know what I'm saying? When we come and shut shit down, you know what I'm saying? Just know we waited our time for this shit, you know? We want to hate on no niggas, yeah. for sure. It was all love. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... So I see y'all got the merch, y'all got the songs to back it up, y'all got the words to go with the process. Um, is there any new projects we should be looking out for, be ready for, be ready to see hit the shelves? Well, we actually got one project out right now, it's called Corn Cell 9. You can get that on uh, Bandcamp, stream that, go fuck with it. And we got, what is it, uh... The album coming up. Two to the head. Yeah, two to the head. Yeah, for sure. That's gonna yeah. be a hitter. Y'all look Other out than that, that, we just dropping strays. Mm -hmm. Strays for sure. Yeah. And times of peace prepared for war. All type of individual mm -hmm. tracks coming from me and this nigga. You feel me? It's a project coming, my project coming. Y'all be on the lookout. Yeah. Hella more dope visuals. You know what I'm saying? We're working on stuff. Until you stop. Until you stop, my man. You know we ain't stopping with this shit. And um, I wanted to know, I only got a couple more questions for you, for sure, for sure. Um, t 
so the new artists that's coming up, that's learning the waves and trying to learn this little game we call the music game. Um, what's a what's a piece of advice y'all could get them? Shit, stay consistent at this shit, bro. Yeah. Don't never let no nigga tell you yeah. what the fuck you gonna do you and what you can nobody. and you can't do. Yeah. If this your shit, stand on your shit, go with your own vibe, yeah. no matter what the fuck nobody tell you. For real. Stand strong on your shit. It might be a hundred motherfuckers talking about your shit lame, but I'm telling you, for every motherfucker that's talking about your shit lame, there's some motherfucker out there rocking with your shit. Yeah. And you gotta know that shit's going hard. And you just gotta press on that. That one motherfucker means something. Cause it might be a thousand other motherfuckers like him that fuck with your shit. Yeah. For real. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about perspective. Mm-hmm. For real. Uh, one more time for the fam and the game, man. Cognac Films definitely had to get D and Nam out here, man. We definitely need to know what these guys is on because they always moving towards big things. Um, just one more time for the people in the world out here. Let them know who the hell y'all are. Uh, Till I am. Honest Hippie. Yep. And together yeah, we make D&R, my niggas. You already know yeah. what I'm saying. Fuck up. Yeah, you know, go shop. Come shop with us, nigga. Come check out our uh, tapes, nigga. Go shop, link in bio, all that good shit. Tell them where they can find y'all at on IG, find man. Find us on, what is it, Instagram? Vietnam. Vietnam. Mm -hmm. For the individual pages, you can find me at, what is it, soon, underscore. You understand? Mm -hmm. At Honest Hippie. Yeah, no. Tap in with these boys. It's always something in the works. You don't fucks with us. If you fucks with us, you already know. We dropping out hot shit, bitch. Then I'll drop out at any given time, nigga. You already know. And from the one and only Cognac Films. Cognac Films, make sure y'all come shoot, nigga. Yes, sir. Films, nigga. You already know. Cognac Films. <laughs>